A 14-year-old boy have been charged with attempted murder and assault after trying to drown a black boy in a pond while calling him racial names. The black boy told police, they started throwing rocks at me as soon as I got to the pond and then they forced me to get in the water. I had a life jacket on at first, but they made me take it off, even though I told them I couldn't swim. They invited me here. And then when I get here, they try to drown me. A witness who seen the whole thing said, I heard the black boy tell him, please don't push. Please don't splash water on me. I can't swim. And then I seen them push his head under the water. And then they started calling him names. They was calling him George Floyd because he said he couldn't breathe. Listen, I think we need to sit down with our children and tell them what real friends are. Real friends don't invite you to places and then try to hurt you when you show up. Real friends don't do that. I remember when I was young, my mama used to have to meet all my friends. And if she didn't like them, or if she felt their energy was off, I couldn't hang with them. And I didn't understand that then, but now I could honestly say everybody that my mama told me was bad for me, as a grown-up, I don't talk to them. Don't have nothing in common with them. But see, things done change now. Now, we don't even know our children, friends, parents' names. We don't even know where they live at, but we letting our children go spend the night over there. We don't know who lived there. We don't know if it's a cousin over there who just got out of prison, who can't keep his hands off of little girls. We don't know nothing about them, but we letting our children go over there. Listen to me. Even though these children are out here walking around like they know everything, acting like they don't need our guidance, don't give up on them. They called this boy George Floyd because he said he couldn't breathe. Just like the police killed George, they was trying to kill him. Let's go back to treating our children like kids. No, you ain't going swimming with no supervision out there. And look, you don't even know how to swim.